Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is 5G course on IET Understanding channel. For today, we're gonna talk about uh, 5G quality of services. So, what's new was introduced in 5G in terms of supporting uh, different services. Uh, what's the difference between 4G quality of service and 5G quality of service? Uh, what uh, new layers and features was introduced in 5G and R? So let's start with identificators. In 4G, we were talking about QCI, yeah? In 5G, um, it's basically the same, but in 5G we call it 5QI, 5G uh, quality of service flow identificators. And uh, the, uh, in 3GPP specifications, actually in this one, you can find the whole table uh, that describe uh, different different services and supports. But one of them uh, seems to me more interested. For example, um, 5G system can support delay critical uh, services with guaranteed betrays. Such services as intelligent transport system. Uh, electricity distribution, discrete automation. Uh, some of um, 5QI may support low latency, but at the same time enhance mobile broadband services. Such services, um, we can say, augmented reality. And there are some tables and uh, specifications that relates to um, high-speed trains communications and supporting it in 5G networks. So, apart from this, in 5G, in order to support, in order to um, support all, all of this, in 5G was introduced new layer for radio interface, for um, user plane, actually. It's called Service Data Application Protocol, SDAP, and this new layer may support such a new and interesting feature as reflective quality of service. Let's talk about it a little bit more. So basically, this new layer, SDAP layer, is only for user plane, and um, uh, the major uh, aim of this layer is to map uplink downlink cost flows to data radio beers and market it um, packets with special IDs, cost flow IDs, QFI. Uh, and uh, this layer supports such feature as reflective quality of service flow. Is when um, we set, is when this layer set the same parameters, the same settings for uplink as it in downlink. So um, in uplink we have the same mapping, the same rules for quality of service flow to data radio beers as it in downlink direction. Yeah. So um, there are some thoughts that uh, this feature may reduce L3 uh, layer signaling, yeah? But, on the other hand, uh, this feature uh, may increase signaling in this layer because in this case, user equipment uh, has to monitor each downlink packet uh, for uh, uh, this reflective quality of service uh, feature, yeah? To set up the same settings for uplink and this may uh, increase um, SDA player signaling. Um, apart from this, SDA player um, and reflective quality of service uh, may work independently for access stratum and non-access stratum and the whole layer, the whole uh, header of this layer 
may be transparent, but uh, in such cases as uh, uh, when we have one, when we have two or uh, more cost flows mapping to data radio beers, we need to have uh, as the player. So basically, it was uh, the major things, uh, the major features uh, that uh, uh, refers to 5G quality of service. I hope you enjoy this short lesson and uh, if you like it, you can uh, like and email me any questions. Uh, so, stand by with Understanding IoT channel. Goodbye.